Hi, I'm Sean Gannon. This is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving systems of three equations with elimination. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here. x minus 6y plus 4z equals a negative 12. x plus y minus 4z equals 12. 2x plus 2y plus 5z equals negative 15. And we need to solve this system by elimination. Well, let's look at our first equation and our second equation. If I rewrite them here, we have x minus 6y plus 4z equals a negative 12. And then we have x plus y minus 4z equals a positive 12. If I subtract the two equations, so this whole thing, whole second equation we're subtracting, we can eliminate the x variable. x minus 1x, right, is just 0. They cancel out. Negative 6 minus 1y is a negative 7y. 4z minus a negative 4z is like adding a 4z, so that's an 8z. A negative 12 minus uh, 12 is a negative 24. All right. So we have one equation, we've eliminated a variable, we gotta do some more work. Let's go look at, well, this equation and this one here, the second and the third one. If I multiply this, this equation here by two, the whole thing, we would have, both of them have two x's there. So let's do that. So I multiply this whole thing by two here, and we're left with two x plus a two y minus an eight z equals a positive 24. Bring down the third, the third equation here, just 2x plus 2y, oops, plus 5z equals a negative 15. By adding the two equations together, or sorry, subtracting, oof, don't add, we gotta subtract, adding won't do anything, gotta subtract them here. So by subtracting these two equations, our x's are going to cancel. 2x minus 2x is 0x. But also look what happens with the y. 2y minus 2y also cancels. This is like a, a double impact great thing. Negative 8z minus 5z is a negative 13z. And then 24 minus a negative 15 is like adding a 15. That's 39. Divide both sides by negative 13. And z equals a negative 3. Great, we have one of our values. Well, look at this. Z is negative three. If we plug it into this equation right here, for that Z, we get Y by itself. Or we can get Y by itself. So let's do that. Negative seven Y plus eight times a negative three equals a negative 24. Let's keep going from here. Negative, or let's go keep the negative seven Y here. Eight times a negative three is a negative 24 equals a negative 24. Add 24 to both sides, and that's, well, zero. Seven y, negative seven y equals zero. Divide both sides by negative seven, and y equals zero. So now we have z equals negative three, y equals zero. Let's go solve for x. Well, we pick one of our equations that we think is maybe easiest, and substitute z and y in for, or the values and for their variables. And I pick the second equation. So we have x, so we're using this one again. I'm gonna keep using the second equation a lot here. X plus, and instead of Y, I'm putting a zero in. Minus for Z, instead of Z, we put a negative three in. And that's equal to a positive 12. So now let's solve for X. Well, zero we don't really need, right? Adding a zero doesn't do anything. And negative four uh, times a negative three, that's a positive 12, equals 12. Well, I subtract 12 to both sides, and x equals 0. So we have our three answers. We can write it as a coordinate point. x is 0, y is 0, and z is negative 3. So there, again, is our final answer. 0, 0, negative 3. Hope this video was helpful, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.